po, welcome back sa mga katulad ko na nagmamahal sa ating bayan. So, welcome back po mga guys sa aking um, playlist, The Philippines Politics and Patriotism po. So, natapos po ang SONA 2020 ng ating mahal na Pangulo and marami na po. Guys, ang alingas-ngas patungkol sa kanyang tinalakay na subject about the return of death penalty for crimes specified in Dangerous Drugs Act 2020. So yan guys, ang ating aabangan para naman makita natin kung ano yung mga saloobin ng bawat mamamayang Pilipino. Here's the president himself in his own words. Stay tuned. I reiterate the swift passage of a law reviving the death penalty by lethal injection for crimes specified under the Comprehensive Dangerous Act of 2002. I did not hear so much clapping. So I presume that they are not interested. Wala kang... Someday I'll tell you the story of what happened to the Philippines. Uh, hindi ngayon. But when I'm... Sabihin ko sa inyo ang totoo. Bakit nagaganito yung... Druga ng Pilipinas. Why, why the drug syndicates continue to operate just like the countries of uh, Colombia, Mexico, and it is being played inside the National Penitentiary. Para tayong talagang binababoy tayo. Sabihin ko sa inyo. But this is not a time for storytelling. Suna kasi ito. So, dito na. This law will not only help us deter criminality, but also save our children from the dangers posed by the illegal and dangerous drugs. May I be allowed with the indulgence of the body? Itong bakit talaga ako galit sa droga? Let us make this a semi-formal speech. Alam mo kasi, limang pamilya members, o anim or pito, pagka bumagsak yung tatay to drugs, the family crumbles. There's no more home to. Druga, and if he's receiving his salary, nagtatrabaho sa pantanam, 300 a day. Tapos ang siyabo is sold at two. He has about 100 to bring home. Kaya pagka ganun, nag-aaway-aaway na. Ang mga bata, hindi na kapag-aral. Ang iba, ligaw na. Mga babae, into early prostitution. Kung ano-ano nangyari. Hindi lang alam nitong mga... Now, this is happening all over the country every day. And what is really very tragic is this. When the family starts to crumble, there's the more family home. And invariably, the wife would look for another. Now, the husband would look for a job, usually, easily, doon sa abroad. At yung asawa, 
aalis yung ba- lalaki na sa droga, yung mga anak iniiwan sa pagkapitbahay, sa kapatid. And the ferocity of uh, the loss of the Filipino family home has been destroyed. Kaya kung anong mangyari nito, the wife works in the Middle East. I am not zeroing on any particular country, mind you. But alam na natin, there are tribes in the Middle East which would allow rape as part of the territory of being a household. Kasama yan. Kasama talaga yan. So yan ang mahirap dyan. You have a wife there being crucified, being used, magpadala ng pera, tapos ang mga anak, asa na sa sabi, sabi, sabi na rin. Kasi these are the guys that the Shabu people would really, you know, stick by them until it crumbles the resistance and then you have plenty of this all over the country nila nila alam yung sinasabi nila ng misery sa tong human rights plus 10 yan not to count the victims of crimes perpetrated by people addicted to that is the reason why I'm so vicious in my galit talaga ako. Nilalaroan tayo. Ah. Well, I don't know. Any other president might not. Pero ako ayaw ko yun. Ayaw kong lalaroan ng Pilipino. Do not do it in my country because I will really kill you. That is a commitment 